I've got my can opener. I'm going to go and open my can of paint here. And I want to emphasize <laughs> that make sure that you have your plastic down, especially if you have a fireplace like mine. This is white, and this is a black paint. So if you got any on your fireplace, you're in real trouble then. So I'm going to go and open this can of paint up. And I'm going to need to stir this paint because it, it's separated. It's an oil base, so some of the pigment is down at the bottom. So I need to get a stir stick and very carefully stir this paint. You don't want to stir it too fast because if, if you stir it too fast, there's a chance that you're going to spill some out the side. So just gently just stir it for perhaps maybe about two minutes. So now that our paint is stirred, we've got a brush and we're ready to paint. And I always like to start on the walls. I like to paint the walls first, and that way if any of the paint drips off the wall, which happens quite often when I'm holding the brush up there, you have a little drip fall down. If you painted the, the bottom first, uh, you couldn't blend those drips in. So if I paint the walls and then I paint the bottom, it kind of blends all the drips in. So I'll dab a little bit on there and just be very careful with this. Uh, you don't want to get any black paint on anything in your house. So I'm going to start on the walls here. And more than likely you're going to have to have two coats of this paint. And you'll let it set it, uh, perhaps an hour or two between the coats. You just want to work it into all the crevices in between the bricks. Try to get everything covered with the paint. So now I've painted the sides of the fireplace and it's already starting to look a lot better. Now I'm ready to paint the bottom. And as you can see, I've already, I had a few drips of paint. So that's why I always like to uh, start on the sides and then work on the bottom. So now we've finished painting the bottom of our fireplace. And as you can see, it looks almost like new.